Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing this drawing of a parrot, continuing from my previous video, which is a tropical theme. I was definitely having a tropical mood. So, before we continue, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this video? I'm posting new videos every week. So click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload my brand new video. Also to see more of my arts, you can follow me on my Instagram down here. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Click up here to see more of my art videos. And so, let's get started. So, I just finished my drawing. And do you remember this pen that we used to use in high school? Maybe you guys are still using it now. But back in the days, we call it the crappy pen or magic pen. So right now, I'm just dividing 5.9 which is 19 cents for each pen. And so before I start colouring the parrot, I had to test out each of the pen just to see how everything goes. And what colour that will appear, is it warm or is it cool tone because it's a bit unorganized. I started with a grey colour and then moving on to the black for the beak to create shadow and the highlight and dimension. I also mix in the blue and purple colour on the beak too just to create like highlights or like yeah you get me right. <laughs> then moving on to the rainbow feathers, I started with a dark orange, light orange and then yellow light green dark green and light blue well basically it was it was everything on that set <laughs> so doing the feathers was a bit time consuming i did not expect that but at least it turned out to be better than i expected it to be so on its body it will be a bit darker compared to the neck and upper chest and for the wings the colors are starting from yellow to green and then ending with a blue. create shadows underneath the blue feathers, I use an ultramarine blue which is more on the dark side. And then I mix in the yellowish green with the yellow and the light blue to create a transition shade from yellow to the blue. For the tail part, I was very limited with the yellow shade so I was struggling on what color can be used to create a nice look. And so day one ended and for this part, starting from this part, this will be the part two which is day two. Oh yeah, and I was having a technical difficulty with my cats. <laughs> Yeah, she just had to be there. Like, Mommy, Mommy, what are you doing? Hmm, I think I can help. So, um, let me just sit here and look. Oh yeah, I just had to push her away because she was blocking my way. I was trying to make this video go fast but she's just time consuming so it's sure she will be blocking my drawing for quite some time. So for the background, I just draw the banana leaves. I think. Is it? Yeah. 
so I just draw the banana leaves using three shades with a light green and dark green and oh yeah for the outline I use a purplish red color I think just to make the background appear as the background and not mix in with the main subject which is the parrot oh yeah i forgot to mention that i also put a monstera leaves together with the banana leaves And uh, so yeah, I just had to show this part where the technical difficulty is. Well, actually, every time I draw is the only time I bond with my cats, which is my roommate. They are such an attention seeker, you know? I don't know, sometimes it's... I mean, nah, they are annoying. <laughs> okay, now I'm way off topic, but it's just something I want to share. Just, it was so funny. Moving on So for the background what I did was like a 3D popping out of the frame kind of look And so to create the shadow that I'm doing right now is using a grey Using a grey colour with black and line it 3 times light and 2 times dark So that's how I get my 3D looking drawing like popping up something like that with a drop shadow yes that's the word drop shadow and so for the final part i only use a light blue and a dark blue for the background and i don't even want to make it too crowded so i added just a small tiny tiny i mean minimal details that looks like leaves so it blends with the background so after all that done, I just deepen up with black color to make the outline. So that's it guys, this is the final drawing. What do you think of my drawing? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any requests, ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm posting new videos every week, so click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you will be notified whenever I upload my brand new video. Also to see more of my eyes, you can follow me on my Instagram down here. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Click here to subscribe to my channel. To see more of my videos, click my playlist here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!